Hello everyone, today we have a Shining Fates ETB, which at the time of recording is the second Fates set and the predecessor of Paldean Fates, the newest Fates set and a set we have opened a lot of. The link to those videos will be in the description. Also, our channel has recently hit 50 subscribers, so I wanted to congratulate and thank all of my subscribers for hanging out and watching the videos. This set was released in 2021 and is the 6th Sword and Shield era set, not including the promo sets like McDonald's and Futsal. This, since it's in 2021, there will be 10 packs, because it's a Sword and Shield era special set, that's what they do. We got energies, dividers, sleeves, dice, our promo EV VMAX, a Pokemon TCG rulebook, it's uses to tell the consumers and the people who open it how to play the TCG, because just in case they don't know, obviously. And then the indicators, and yeah, that's all the normal things you'd find in ETB. So let's get it open. Uh -oh. So for everyone, pretty much, the top chase card and the top card in the set of Shining Fates is, of course, Charizard. Specifically, Charizard VMAX, as it is the most valuable. Plus, it looks really cool, at least in my opinion. So here we have our player's guide. So let's go. And in total, there it should be C. One. So there's more than 70 cards to the Pokemon TCG and revisits more than 120. So there is 190 something approximately. So if we go to the cards list, which shows all of the cards in this set, and we will see all the Vs, Vmaxes. And this is one of the sets that has something called Amazing Rares, which were discontinued in the later parts of the Sword and Shield era. And we get to the Shinies. And <clears throat> our personal chase cards would probably be, if we get to the full arts, um, a bit of a stretch, but maybe the uh, Phalanx V, because it looks really cute, and maybe one of the gold cards. <laughs> I think I'm stretching a bit here because it's really hard to get, but it would be amazing to get one of those out of these 10 packs of Shining Fate. So, this might be wishful thinking, this might not be. Let's see how my luck transfers. So, we have our big boy divider. 10 booster packs of Sword and Shield Shining Face. I know it doesn't say Sword and Shield here, but it's a Sword and Shield era set. The code card for the ETB. The beautiful EV VMAX promo. There you are. The sleeves. The Pokemon TCG rulebook, which just says how to play the game, energies, all those. And then here are the actual energies. Burn and poison indicators. The dividers. And the dice. So now let's get into our 10 Shining Fates packs. And let's hope we also get a Charizard. Okay, so this is a green and white code. So this should mean that we hopefully get a pull. Hopefully not a hollow, because hollows are the worst type of pull. We have a Fire Energy, Eldegoss, Tropius, Ball Guy, Yanma, Morpeko, Eevee, Gossifleur, Yanma, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, Shiny, 
and the full art ball guy. That's an amazing double hit from the first pack of Shining Fates. And our first shiny as well. But why Mr. Rhyme, I wonder? Ooh, we have another hit pack. I like to call them. So this one has a hit, so hit pack. We have Psychic Energy, Ball Guy, hello. Tropius, Rusted Shield, Gossifleur, Chewtool, Morpeko, Kecnia, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Snome, and Crobat VMAX. Not, it's not a shiny, but it is a pull, nonetheless. Now, surprisingly from Shining Fates, usually you'd expect, like, another hit pack? Wow. Usually you'd expect probably at least, like, five or six uh, Rainbow Rares per set. Maybe even ten or something. They're really... It's, kind of a lot of them but in shining fates there's only the rainbow rare al creamy v max and the rest are all shinies and full arts and all that so we have shiny pink kerchin and manaphy i don't think there's anything different with this maybe the th the mouth or maybe the tip of the spikes i don't know unnoticeable shinies for you It's another hit pack. Wow. Surprised, but not surprised. We have an electric energy, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Spinarak, Rowlet, Morpeko, Nicket, Eevee, Reverse Hollow, Eldegoss, and Hollow Thievil. Okay. Hollows are technically considered hits in the Sword and Shield era. But, eh. This is Hit City right now. This is what, we're halfway through the ETB pretty much and all of our packs have had a hit. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess the code card doesn't determine anything in this set. And then we were just lucky. We have a Fire Energy, Team Yell Towel, Fla Thwacky, Grim Trainer, <laughs> Trapinch, Yanma, <laughs> Coughing, Morpeko, Horsey, <laughs> Reverse Hollow Rusted Shield, and Zerud. We got another Charizard art on our Shining Face pack. Could that predict the future and give us a Charizard? Wink Wing Shining Pack. We have a Psychic Energy, Thwacky, Gym Trainer, there we go, Ball Guy, Coughing, Morpeko, Horsey, Spinarak, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow Cremorant, and Boss's Orders Lysander. We have three more booster packs of Shining Fates. So let's see. If one of these can give us a Charizard. Because that would be absolutely incredible. And a dream come true. We have a Steel Energy, Eldegoss, Dartrix, Luxio, Trapinch, Weasel, Coughing, Shinx, Grookey, Shiny Inteleon, and Volcarona. Vol Volcanion, not Volcarona. It looks really cool. It's like a redesign of 007. Amazing. Final Charizard art pack of the ETB. A cry for help, Charizard. Bestow us the gift of your brethren. We have a Water Energy, Dartrix, Rusted Shield, Team Yell Towel, Snom, Kufant, Garuki, 
Weasel, Yanma, Reverse Holo Rusted Sword, and Boss's Orders. Shiny Dragapult, can we get some last pack magic from this ETB's final pack? I mean, I'm not complaining about the already stellar hits that we've gotten. They look really cool, especially the baby shinies. But maybe ooh, just one more full art shiny. Maybe. And it's a young mega. Still, that's fine. We got an amazing array of pulls. So, our pulls from this ETB consist of Shiny Inteleon, Shiny Pink Urchin, Crobat VMAX, Full Art Ball Guy, Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and the promo Eevee VMAX from this ETB. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and have a lovely Easter.